I think learning Chinese was one of the most humbling experiences of my life, right? Where mm -hmm. I think I'm smart. I'm like, the reason I started studying it is I, you know, people said it was really hard and we'll see, you know, we'll see about that. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm super smart, so this will be easy. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I spend so much more time on Chinese than my computer science classes. Like I would save my computer science homework as a treat yeah. <laughs> after I finished my Chinese homework. It was so hard. Yeah. And you just seem, you know, it's so like the intelligence that I feel like I had and I wasn't able to communicate it with someone because I'm so bad at their language. I think that really sets your mind right. Like mm -hmm. they're okay. <laughs> first of all, people that don't speak English as a first language, like, man, that you got to change the way you evaluate them. them. Yeah. Um, because they, they might be way smarter than you and just not have the right ability to communicate that. I think the second thing is it is totally okay to suck at something, right? Like the, I think the reason that adults don't get that good at learning languages is they are unwilling to fail, right? They're unwilling mm -hmm. to seem like an idiot. Whereas a child, they have no other option, right? And mm -hmm. plus everyone treats them so cute of like, oh, you messed up words. And like an adult is just annoying. Mm -hmm. And so like the willingness to be wrong, I, I think that's super important. And translating that into professional life, like, man, we have made some huge mistakes and tried to course correct as soon as possible. But I think without that mentality, it's really hard to make iterative progress, being mm -hmm. willing to be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's uh, it's pretty interesting. Do you, do you have any interesting phrases in, in Mandarin that, uh, that, that, that phrases that someone who is just a, who is just a, an early learner wouldn't really know. Hmm. An interesting but phrase. It's, but it's very important to, to the Chinese. Yeah. All right. I might mess this up, but this is a, something called a cheng yu, which is like a, a, a Chinese idiom with, with four characters. Okay. Sanren cheng hu. <laughs> what does that mean? I might have I might have messed it up, but it it means that three people become a tiger. Where hmm. sort of the meaning is that two people can tell a lie, and that you know that's a that's just a rumor that's going around. But if you're able to get a third person there, then it seems a lot more believable. It's much more easy to push a lie a lot further. Wow, how how many people need to be involved before you can can push something, um, a, a falsehood? I, see. I don't know. I think the there's a lot of idioms like that in Chinese that I think are, you know, just little nuggets. Very somewhere. compact, but very, very, it has a, a, a very a detailed story. meaning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was looking for. Something, this is, this are the cultural nuances mm -hmm. that I was, I was talking about in the beginning. And once you start getting into them, you really start endearing yourself to the, uh, to the indigenous people you are, uh, that you're, you're dealing with. Totally. That's, that's very interesting.